In Class B, the usual suspects are added again, but it's Warner who carries the top seed into October, with their only losses coming to Burke and O'Gorman. It's been an exciting season because it seems like we've had some teams on there that are pretty challenging, and um, I think it's helped us grow a little bit and come to reality that there's always room to grow and get better as the season goes. It's a lot easier mid-season when we go through this, you know, usually teams go through a little bit of a slump, or my team does anyway, where it's like not as exciting anymore, but it's not quite the tournament. And it just seems like they come into the gym ready to go. And that's so beneficial to try to get things done. Um, we know like Chester as well is like, they looked really good down at the Pentagon and uh, they were without one of their players. So I think we have to make sure we're pretty balanced on offense so they can't maybe defend us quite as well. And just, like I said, take care of our unforced errors and we have to continue to serve and serve receive well. Their lineup starts with a stock junior class, including All-State setter Ava Nielsen, who runs a smooth offense that features Kyra and Lauren Markison, who lead the team in kills. Despite Warner's dominance, they can be beaten. Burke proved that earlier this season. Coleman Egan, Woolsey Wessington, and others have been hanging tough all season, and as we all know, Northwestern and Chester area are always among the finalists at the end of the year. And so, you know, all of those teams, you know, Burke is going to be a year better this year. And, and so I think there's going to be a lot of good teams in, in Class B. And so we're going to put our, you know, focus on hoping that we can put ourselves right in that mix and be playing our best volleyball, you know, at the end of the season. You know, I don't think these kids get a free pass because they're young. I think our community expects them to compete hard and, and have a good season. And, you know, I don't think the rest of the state's going to take it easy on us. So, uh, you know, it's just, they're going to get thrown in the fire and see what we can do. Can't wait for a strong finish as we slide into postseason play in less than a month.